I, I brought that scripture in because so many times we get we get caught up. I know some people of my faith, yeah, we, we know it's not by uh, power, by my might, but it's by the Spirit of God. But can I tell us when we have the Spirit of God, there also comes a spirit of knowledge. There also comes a spirit of understanding with it. There also comes some counsel. There also comes a uh, might. But I also like what he said there. We don't begin to judge by our sight. Amen. We begin to allow the Spirit of God to deal with us that we can judge righteousness amen that we can judge righteousness righteously because we have that wisdom we have the understanding we have the knowledge we have a fear of God we're not judging just because we're looking at somebody and I've learned through street evangelism that that's an easy thing to do you think you know everybody's story by just looking at them but my friend if you take five seconds just to ask them their name or ask them where they're from and if they will then they might share with you a little bit of their story you might be surprised that there are some lawyers down here there are some accountants there are some well-to-do businessmen and women that for whatever the reason for whatever the reason they, they just got so fed up that they just turned away but so many times we want to judge each other by what we look at amen we don't want to to just to learn about that person it's easy to look at somebody and to judge them but when you allow the spirit of god to come into this shake your place shake your vessel amen you'll begin to have a spirit of understanding about you. You'll not be so quick to judge by your eyes, but your spirit of your heart will begin to speak to you. That's a soul. That's a vessel that needs God. Hallelujah. Not to judge. Hallelujah. But we have righteousness. Righteousness will be our judge. As we go back over to Acts chapter 4, it said there that their house was shaken. Our vessels at time, we need God to shake our vessels. We need God to come and to manifest in our prayer life. But my friend, if we don't have one, there's not going to be one. Amen? You've got to develop that with the Lord. That is your communication. That is your communion daily with God. Prayer. And I've spoke on it many, many times. But we've got to realize, in order to have our houses shook, in order to have our temples moved, I have that motion, amen. We've got to have that prayer life. So my question today is, is has your house been shaken lately? Has your house been shaken lately? I'm not talking necessarily always in the shout and moving around, but I'm just talking of a quickening of the spirit that you begin to feel, uh, feel those tear wells start to well up, amen. You feel some about six inches below that collarbone, that little butterfly starting to flutter there in your chest, and you're beginning to know that the spirit, the creator of your soul is having some communion with you, that it is direct and that it is one-on-one. -on -one. These apostles got into that place, and they were praying specifically, God, we need boldness. Amen. And can I declare today that needs to be part of our prayer? We need to be bold for the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to be out there winning the souls, winning the lost to Jesus. But what are we just playing today? 